Hi, my name is Danny Schmidt, one of the senior archaeologists with the Jamestown Rediscovery Project. And for today's update, we're going to do something a little different. When we're finished excavating an archaeological dig site, we like to get an aerial photograph. Typically, we'll rent a cherry picker, or sometimes we'll even have a helicopter up over the site. Uh, that can be very costly. Today, we have uh, my Christmas present, a, a drone, and it's got a high-definition camera built into it, so you can get some good video with that. Uh, but it doesn't have a camera that uh, points straight down that is adequate for our needs. So what I'm going to do today is actually uh, Velcro, um, use double-sided Velcro to attach an old iPhone. All right, so you control these drones with uh, a, a, any smartphone or, or tablet. In this case, I'm using an iPad, and you just download the app. Just show you how this thing works before we go ahead and attach that uh, iPhone. And the end game here is we're going to try to get a <laughs> we're going to try to get a still shot and some video of the cellar we're working on from directly above using this little machine. Underneath the AR Parrot drone right here, I've got double-sided so Velcro and I have an old uh, deactivated iPhone uh, 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on, uh, on record with the video and then just simply Velcro it on the bottom of the drone here and then hope it doesn't fall off while the drone is in flight. And we're going to try to get some of that um, bird's eye footage of the uh, seller. So here we go. Let's try it out. All right, so uh, one of our other archaeologists here, uh, Dan Smith, is going to hold this uh, drone level as we take off from the cellar. So it's struggling a little bit, but uh, it's picking up the iPhone. And we'll go ahead and try to bring it back down and it's out of control. Oh. <laughs> All right, so it wasn't a complete success. Uh, we did get some video there, but the drone did, did crash under the, with the weight of the iPhone. Uh, you know, I, wanna, I do want to point out, though, at this project, uh, it's, it's, it's great to have a, a boss like Bill Kelso, who does let us push the envelope with technology, experiment with things, and uh, have a little fun out here. So uh, this is, um, I think, in, in the long run, going to be the way archaeologists go with drones and with photography. And hey, if you don't give it a go, if you don't try it out, you're never going to know if it's going to work for you or not. So here we are exploring. <laughs>